Hello, everyone. My name is Jamal Jones. I'm the art instructor for, uh, for the, one of the art instructors for Harry G. Darnell, senior service art instructor. Hello, welcome to my class. My class is called construction art. In construction art, it means by act, uh, getting things is out to draw, things that you, Mr. Lane said you had around the house, and put them together like a mixed media or two dimension and make a piece of artwork out of it. Today, we're doing fabric, paint, and jewelry. What I did was I got some cloth and I stretched it onto the canvas and I cut out some flowers from that uh, design to make it three dimensional. So let's get started. I already got my lifters. I use these lifters. Uh, they are tall lifters that I got at Home Depot. I said you can use with anything, cardboard to lift your picture up. Okay. So what I did, I already put the pictures on, so I'll come back and glue and add my bird, give it a three-dimensional look. Just have fun with it. Fly over here. So you should keep adding on. There's it's, it's no certain way, there's no, it's no mistakes in art. So I'm just adding and making it kind of three dimensional. Have fun with it. You can do this. And just put it on there. And see. So it make like the flowers just popping out of it. There's no mistakes in art. It's just go. See how easy it is. I, as you, as you get your, your design, you start adding on. So he's doing the background first. Yeah, always a lot of fun. I want you all to enjoy this play, enjoy, enjoy this. But like I said, what you gotta do is get your subject matter. I see any kind of cloth you got around your house. I, I used to do quilts, so this is my quilting material. And you stretch it on your canvas and add on. So now I'm going to uh, add on her uh, a bunny, a, a hat. And I put some, uh, some kind of books about the lift, make a lift box and make it three dimensional. And you just got to enjoy it and work. Like I say, there's no mistakes in art, only the scope. You never know what you're discovering when you start putting them together. So all that canvas laying on your house, you've been saying, I want to do this and that, pull it out. It's time to get it out. Now, I put the bottle on. I'm just putting it on right now, just not to secure it, just to add it on, show you how it's done. In construction art, I use uh, watch or uh, designs and to, for the face, similar to this this picture here. I do a picture and add those little uh, stones to it. Just give it another, another, another dimension. Now I'm putting, I'm putting this part on, same technique. Use a hot, I use hot glue, you can use any kind of strong glue. Use uh, uh, 3000, any kind of glue. For this demonstration, I use a hot glue. About there, it's in joy. So, to get a, give it a touch of class and elegance, I have some, I have some, I have some, always have a lot of lace that laying around that I had. Wonder what I was going to do with it. So, like I said, you can add anything. Construction art is your own imagination. Whatever you want to do with it, achieve your goal. I'm going to put a little color on, give us a, a, little, a, a little touch of elegance. You 
They had rhinestones to it. And I want I want I want to make she gotta be dressed up. She's in blue and everything around here in blue. So I just get a stone and make her and just put her earring here. Remember, there's no mistakes, just you just gotta have fun. Fun to just as you mold your picture, you'll start seeing how it's how it's developing. Okay, let's add some let's add some more flowers to the top. Finish that out. And the last thing I'm gonna add, I got a branch and I put some birds in the branch and give it a, a, a three-dimensional look. So I put it on with the bird. Okay, now this side over here, can't leave it bare. Since we are working, so what I did, I cut out some butterflies from this butterfly stamp you can buy it in an art store. I colored some paper, and I just made some different kind of butterflies. Just to add some some summer, some summer, uh, the summer uh, ideas to it. I put a little glue. Open up my butterfly wings and place it on the picture. Just open it up. You can put as many butterflies as you want. I just want to enhance it a little bit. It ain't got to be butterflies. It's anything you, that you like to put on, to put on the picture. You use one of those stampers, you put hearts. Stamps come in all kinds of designs. And then once I put it on, I open it up like, he, like he's flying on the picture. Also, this project is a good project you can do with the kids. Uh, like I said, cut out some butterflies, cut out some designs, and then I'll paste them on, on, on the pictures and you can put wire on them and have them like floating above your picture. Like I say, have fun. It's so much fun doing this, you just, it just takes you away. And that's the whole idea with art. Take you to a whole new place, and that place is creativity. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And I can say, uh, <clears throat> as many as you want on here. I'll put a few, few more. I won't get too, too gawky with it. I don't, we don't want it to look like butterflies flying the whole picture away. Okay. Uh, that's probably enough butterflies for now. Also, what you can do, if you want to add some of these stones and, and washes on your picture, it, it can do it, it just add, it just add to it and make it more mystery. Or you can just leave it flat. But I like creativity. I like to experiment and see how it's gonna look. So with these uh with these wash pieces, you just Overlap, like I said, it's just optional. You don't have to use these uh, techniques uh, as far as the face go. But I like I like to make my art a conversation piece. When people see it, they say, "Why you do that?" And that's start a conversation. That's what art is all about. It, it, it's start a conversation. About how you do this? Because you go in these galleries, and everyone always looks at some art, and the first thing they ask, I wonder how they did that. Why they do that? So you ask the artist, or you just go create some of your own. Uh, own it, own and uh, be creative. But don't, don't pressurize the artist's work. Just uh, compliment it. You compliment the artist by going and create something on your own, and, uh, and just, let, just have fun with it. Remember, don't start doing your hard work. It's critics everywhere. Someone went to Spain tell you, ooh, that's ugly. Because they probably looking with, with shades on. Because anything you create from your heart and soul is not ugly. It's creativity. That's why I always tell someone, knowing it, just encourage you from doing your work. Okay. So I just put one more on here to show you how. And, and you can build up as much as you want. 
So, and so that's the answer to that picture. Also, like I said, this is a small version that you can do. You can build your picture up, put some all in the background, and, and cut off pictures of your family members and paste them on and make them part of your artwork. So like I said, it's, it's a host of things you can do. You see this picture here? I use the same kind of wedges that you use for tiles and have some sticks at home. Stuff I just picked up around, around the house that I had and I want to use. I know going down the way you're artist, you always got a junk drawer of creativity. So I kind of put things together. You can use a, a hair from, from a wig bag and you'll make a piece of abstract, two dimensional artwork. So that's the end of that. Uh, uh, this program, any questions? Jamal. Yes, yes. <laughs>